Welcome back to Creating Coins, where we talk about money and mindset for entrepreneurs. Today we're talking about what to do when you get on the entrepreneurial roller coaster. Have you ever felt like you lost your interest for something where you were just gung-ho for it in the past? I've definitely felt this way and this was something that we actually started talking about inside of the Actionista Mastermind. I asked that question and several people said, yes, I feel like you know sometimes I've lost my energy for something or you know sometimes there was something I was really excited about but then suddenly like, I don't want to do it anymore. And I wanted to sort of discuss why we feel that way and what to do about it. For me, when I start feeling that way, I um, essentially just take time off. As someone who works at a very high level, I usually have a problem with running myself into the ground. Um, I'm very good at being very efficient, uh, at getting a lot done, but sometimes that means that um, I just work and work and work and work and I really don't stop until it's time to eat or it's time to sleep. That means that I get a lot done, but then I'm so burnt out after doing all of that work that I really just need to rest and relax. I started implementing a um, one day with nothing to do. Uh, usually for me, that's Saturday, where I'm not allowed to work on business and I'm not allowed to work on, um, just get on my computer. So if you find yourself getting burned out, that's the first thing I would recommend that you do is just take a break. Secondly, don't feel bad for taking that break, especially if you're a high performer and you're someone who, you know, you're really good at getting stuff done. Sometimes you feel guilty for taking a break, right? So this is that emotional roller coaster that we're talking about. You're really, really excited. You get stuff done. You're like, wow, this is awesome. Then you get burnt out. You decide to take a break and then you feel like you're just stressed out because you're not doing anything. So understand that there is a purpose for taking breaks and understand that taking those breaks is not going to prevent you from moving forward. It's actually gonna help you recharge and reset so you can do even more later. So just think about that as well. And finally, this is what I really enjoy doing. I do something that's completely unrelated to business, whether it's finding a video on YouTube that I can learn dance moves to, which is what I did uh, one time, and I learned how to do an entire choreography to um, one of Beyonce's songs, uh, Formation. And you know, just find something that you can do where it, it has nothing to do with how good you are at, at your job or your business. It really is just something that takes your mind off of stuff. For some people that's watching TV and just chilling on the couch. For other people it's doing something creative. Um, one of the other pieces of the entrepreneurial roller coaster that I wanna to touch on just a little bit is feeling like you failed. Now I do have another video about turning your failure into success, but sometimes when things don't go the way you want, you feel like you just wanna give up, okay? And that can lead into those feelings of being stressed out, feeling burned out. So what I've done is just to remember that those feelings are going to come. You're not going to succeed at every single thing that you do. There are some things you're going to fail at. When those things fail, it's a learning experience and you've got to just pick yourself up and keep going or take that break that you know you need. It's really not easy being an entrepreneur. It's, um, it's really one of the most difficult things that you can do. Entrepreneurs um, can sometimes be called crazy. Like we decide to work 80 hours a week so that we don't have to work 40 hours a week, right? Like we do the things that other people wouldn't naturally do. We work on weekends when other people don't wanna work on weekends, right? So understand that and understand that there are gonna be ups and downs as an entrepreneur, but when you take the time to enjoy some self self-care and you give yourself a break, you give yourself a rest, you understand that those times are going to come and you find those things that you can do that help reduce your stress levels, then you'll be um, in a much better place and you can continue to grow your business. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up um, or I'd love to see you uh, give it a heart as well and comment below. What do you feel like the entrepreneurial roller coaster is like for you? Do you feel like you have those high highs and those low lows? And what have you done in order to, um, to make those a lot easier? So thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.